Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below. And today we're going to be doing a fun video that we saw on Alana Davison's channel. She's one of our favorite YouTubers and I think she came up with this. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. She did a video um, called 10 Things I Can't Live Without and she didn't really have any rules. There was like 10 things that she could not mm -hmm. live without. We thought it was a really fun idea so we wanted to do our take on it. So let's get into it. Okay, so these aren't in any particular order except for the first one, um, our dogs. Mm -hmm. We cannot live without them. If you don't have a dog, please go and get yourself one. Go rescue yeah. a pup today. Um, they are the light of our lives. They Bruna and Terry, we can insert a photo if you haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they bring so much happiness and joy and peace to our life. Mm -hmm. Even on those most stressful day, I feel like they just always make us feel better. We have been enjoying spending more time with them now that we've been working from home for the past two months. Mm -hmm. um, we've always had dogs growing up, like yeah. our whole life. Our whole life. Yeah. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I guess there was like a few years. Well, in, in our life. adult life, in we our didn't. adult life, yeah, we didn't. Yeah. Um, but so we took a little bit of a break, but now like never going back. Okay. Always gonna have, <laughs> always gonna have dogs. Okay, and then there's two stores on our list which we cannot live without either of these, and we are right now, I guess, in a way. Um, but Target and Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, we've still been going to, like, yeah. during this quarantine. Um, probably, like, once every two weeks, once every three weeks. And I would say the reason Trader... Well, we love Trader Joe's. You yeah. guys know this is no, like, uh -huh. surprise. But I think the reason I, I wanted to put it on this list specifically is because I remember the days of, like, shopping at Vons for groceries and, like, mm -hmm. the vast price difference. You save so much money shopping at Trader yeah. Joe's. Or when we were really young, like 18, just moved to California, had no money, we would buy like all of our groceries at Walmart. Yeah. And it was very affordable, which thank God, because we literally had no money. <laughs> but, um, but the quality just wasn't there. And to, so to have a place like Trader Joe's that is such supreme quality, mm -hmm. but really affordable pricing, and honest to God, we just love the experience. Yes. Like, this has to be on the list just for like, especially now being in quarantine and not being able to be around people, you miss those interactions and the people that work at Trader Joe's yes. are beyond, are beyond any, like any other human. The best. They are so kind and so sweet and you look forward to those interactions or at least we do. Yeah, we used to hate grocery shopping. Yeah. Like again, bringing it back to Vons and I, nothing against Vons. So I actually like, might not even know what it is if yeah, you don't live way, in this region. Way. Yeah. Um, I actually like Vons and I think that their like baked goods are really great, mm -hmm. but very overwhelming. Like the store is too big, first of all. Mm -hmm. Too many offerings. Very like I never enjoyed going there. It yeah, was such a tour. It. it was such a tour. I feel like Trader Joe's, it's quicker because the store is smaller. You're in and out of there quick, even during quarantine, in and out. Mm -hmm. And you like know what you like from there because they only really have their mm -hmm. like white label Trader Joe's brand. So you know what you like. They have new items rotating in, like every month it seems it's like. often way more often than other grocery stores yeah it's it so is just the best and i cannot live without no, it we get a lot of joy from it a lot if you can't tell <laughs> yes and then target is the other store so mm -hmm. these are like two and three i guess on our list um and not, Again, even, not even these aren't even for like essentials these are just for pure enjoyment yes, like, but i have to say good. i have to say <laughs> if you guys watched Marlena's video. Exactly. Yes. This is how I feel. Mm -hmm. Um, she, what, what video what, was that? I want to say, was it her rebrand video? Uh, maybe. She did a video talking about Makeup Geek and um, she spoke about when she found out they were going to be in Target and it meant so much to her because it's always been like a safe haven for her and she spoke about how on the day, I believe that her dad, dad died, mm -hmm. um, that she went to Target and she was like, people didn't really understand, but it's like such a safe zone for me. It makes me happy. And I just mm -hmm. didn't want to feel sad the whole day. So I like went to Target and just walked around and we feel the exact same way. Whenever we're feeling down or just like, just like need a little pick me up, mm -hmm. not even to go buy something, <laughs> but we just go to Target and walk around. Yeah. Like, and it's so comforting. It's it such is. a weird feeling to have a store comfort you so mm -hmm. much, but and we didn't even, again, going back to like childhood with dogs, we didn't even grow up with a Target. We didn't have one until, until we were like, no, probably like middle school. Yeah, but I mean, oh, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's true, yeah. Like that's, a lot of people grew up with Target, but just where we were from, it wasn't a huge thing. And then well, we I don't were, think it even came to like the U.S. until that oh, No, time. it definitely really? was. Yeah, yeah, it was probably in California. I mean, I'm assuming, but we don't really know. Um, 
But yeah, it just we became really into it in high school, mm -hmm. so there's a little bit of nostalgia. But yeah, just as an adult, like we just grew this like a lot. And I also would like to think that Target grew up with us because now look at Target, true. they're killing it. They have home decor, groceries, they have it all, and all of it is fantastic. And I I can't wait to see what they do. Next. Yes, and we obviously can't go during quarantine. We might because we haven't been in two months, and it's. <laughs> Dread. Well, we also need some things and it's we've been true. doing a lot of shipped orders I know we spoke about shipped in a weekly favorites like a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. um, We've been doing at least one a week and it's been so so helpful But we might just go to save the cost on delivery and we'll see. Yeah and Number four is candles. <laughs> this is probably no surprise. We obviously started our own candle company Daya candle um, because we love candles so much. This is dark and stormy. It's um, almost done, actually. I just grabbed it from our coffee table. Um, it's also good. I just <laughs> <laughs> it's having, our favorite one. Yeah, we love dark and stormy. But we've always loved candles. I feel like they've always been a part of our life. Mm -hmm. Like we've never had. There's never ever been a time in our life where we didn't have candles in our home. Like yeah. growing up, our parents always bought Yankee candles, um, Home Sweet Home, and Macintosh were like their two signature scents. Mm -hmm. We just always had them around, so those smells are just very comforting again. Um, to we went through the whole like gel candle phase when we were younger. When, oh my god, we did. When those were huge, we had the, this like green apple one that I have a vivid memory. Yes, me too. It had the weird <laughs> wax yes, apples in yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Like candles have always been a part of us. Again, just a very comforting thing. So something we could we could never live without. Like no, could never live without ne not having candles in our life. Next up is one that, I mean, no one can actually live without, but it's water. Well, no one can live without water, yeah. but specifically a water bottle. Yeah, I could but not you, live they without. kind of just, like, go together. They do, yeah. but I think a lot of people, like, we will never be the types to buy, like, single water bottles. Oh, because it's, like, so, yeah, because it's so wasteful. Okay. But we are also not the type to drink out yeah. of the sink. And, put, like, I, a like, cup. love having a water bottle. Yeah, so you we drink both, more. We both have the Contigo brand that we got on Amazon. Mm -hmm. They have, like, the automatic, what is it? Well, they call it auto seal. So... It just seals automatically and you can like turn it upside down and nothing comes out and you have to press it to open it, which is great. They keep it really cold. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they're large. This is 24 ounces. So they're not huge. Like some people have like the giant water bottles, but uh, those are too big. <laughs> like yeah. you can't bring them or put them on a nightstand like they're huge. So we love these. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's a lot of good water bottle options. Any water there. bottle that keeps your water cold mm -hmm. and allows you to drink even more water and not have to go refill over and over. Yes. That's, that's my jam. Love water bottles. It should be on everybody's list because you should be wearing sunscreen every single day, but SPF of any kind, slathered on your skin, you'll stay looking young forever, and more importantly, it'll keep you safe from the sun rays and prevent skin cancer, which is obviously a huge issue. Mm -hmm. um, and my current favorite sunscreen is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen, um, the Tinted. It's SPF 30. I love this so much. It has ceramides and niacinamide in it, which I found that my skin really loves niacinamide. Um, it just like gets along with it really well. And this has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, so it is a mineral sunscreen. It doesn't um, burn my sensitive skin. Um, a little goes a long way. It's like very concentrated, I feel. I love it. It's super affordable. But regardless, you should at least be wearing sunscreen SPF 30 on your face mm -hmm. every single day. Um, my favorite is the, well, I've been really liking the Versed one, but this yeah. one has been a fave for a while. It's their Purito Comfy Water Sunblock. Um, it's 70% water-based, so it's very lightweight and feels, like, really refreshing on the skin. It's also, um, 100% physical, non-nano, so there's no chemical blockers in here, and it's just really good for my sensitive skin. I've had no issues. I really love it. It's really nice. They're both pretty affordable options. Yeah, too. this one I think is like $15. And like mm -hmm. I said, it's lasted me a while. You get 50 milliliters in here. Mm -hmm. oh, this one is 60 milliliters. Oh, yeah. So when we did these lists, um, a lot of our choices were the same, which is why we're talking about them in mm -hmm. conjunction with each other. But there's a couple that we had um, different options for. So I think actually only two. But one of them, my number seven, would and be... And again, these aren't in order. No, not in order. In order. Yeah. Um, would be the movie You've Got Mail. That, again, has been such a constant in my life. It's my favorite movie. Whenever I'm feeling sad or down, 
it really lightens the mood. I feel like Tom Hanks is just my favorite. I think he's such a gem of a human. He's a great actor for like romantic comedy type movies. I mean, he's great in everything. Everything. He's, he's great in everything, but especially like in this movie. I love it. If you haven't seen it, Nora Ephron films are the best. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. She was another true gem of a human. So true. Such a great she writer. She really worked at Trader Joe's. If it was, <laughs> if it was <laughs> around in our time. I know. Um, I love her. We watched that whole documentary on her that was so good. I know. I know. Um, but You've Got Mail has just been my favorite movie for years, like essentially since it came out. It's just a feel-good movie. Anything about New York, honestly, makes me feel happy. I just love That's that true. place. Especially, like, 90s New York 90s movies. 90s New York, exactly. And Meg Ryan, it's so good. It's such a comforting movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. But I had to put it on my list because I truly could not live without that movie. Okay, and my number seven is coffee. And I thought about this. I was like, oh, could I live without coffee? But then, again, it's not even, like... I'm addicted because I actually am not. I can go days where if I forget to drink coffee in the morning, I really do feel okay. It's just like, again, like a joyous thing for me. Like yeah, I, I love, love it too. having a cup of coffee in the morning or like midday and just like a warm cup of coffee, especially when it's like raining out or like a little chilly or even at nighttime, like a decaf cup. Just it's something about warm coffee, um, especially from our Nespresso machine. It's like the activity of coffee. Yeah, itself. it's like such a, like a self, um, what is it called? Like a self-care yeah. situation for me. And I just, yeah, I really love that. I love those moments when you drink coffee. So couldn't live without it. Okay, okay. next one, honestly, it could be tied for number one. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but um, we love television and we've talked about this so many times. Like, yeah, I feel like between like our love of like snack food and television, like there has to be some sort of job amongst those and candles. Oh I don't know something or with dogs something like with all those loves but um, our love for tv runs deep again yes. it's like back to our childhood thankfully we weren't really kids who were told like we can only watch a certain amount of tv well, also we didn't have cable until yeah. like high school we didn't. So it, that's why we love network television i, I so do much. think that's true yeah mm -hmm. um but we just have always loved tv obviously kids really love tv but like we really loved <laughs> TV as kids and we have never stopped loving it. It's been like our number one above movies like our whole lives um, and especially now we live in a very great time to be a TV mm -hmm. lover because there's like I put Netflix specifically but Britta put television yeah. just in general. <laughs> So, um, just in general, there's so many, like, TV shows on Netflix and Hulu and all the streaming it's services. It's just a really great escape. Again, yeah. we have lived very stressful lives, and <laughs> like many of you, not complaining at all. Yeah, like, everyone has stress in their lives. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But something that really helps us decompress is TV. And, like, we love the routine of, like, we know what shows we're watching on Tuesday night. This mm -hmm. is us. Mm -hmm. We know what we're watching on... Monday night, Dancing with the Stars. Hopefully, it returns soon because we miss that show greatly. I know. But we just love like shutting everything off and just watching mm -hmm. one of our favorite shows for an hour and just enjoying it. Yeah, and, and I hope that there's a lot of TV uh, like lovers out there like us. Yeah. Where it runs deep, and you could just could not live without. When people don't own televisions, I <laughs> I don't, don't even know. understand. <laughs> this one is. Definitely like a 2020 from now, this point forward, can't live without 2019. Yeah, rolling up yeah we got them. Um, and Alana had them in her video too. Yeah. Apple AirPods, I thought it was a gimmick, I gotta say. I thought, I, know. Mm, I don't think those are that great. And then we just found them at Costco for a good deal, and so we decided to try them. And I am hooked. I cannot I use anything, anything else. else. Anything else. Because I, I think we've spoken about this before, but I always hated, like, touching the, your phone to your face. Mm -hmm. Like, your makeup gets on there. It's gross. Like, think of how many germs are touching your face. No, thank you. And so, I always like to use, like, the little, like, ear pods that came with the phone, with the cord. What are they yeah, called? They're just, like, like headphones. 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 Yeah. I always like to use those. Um, but I just never realized how, like, cumbersome they are. Like, this is just so easy. Like, you pop them in your ears, it connects to your phone immediately. Especially now, working from home, we've been taking so many calls yeah, each day. Yeah, it's crazy. And it, if you guys have a job where you're on a lot of calls or in meetings, you know also how important it is to have to, like, be able to type. Yeah. When you're on the calls, like, either taking notes or, like, sending a quick email so you don't forget. Like, it's such a game changer and it makes you work so much more efficient. Yes. And then in personal life too, like no one wants to be bombarded by a phone holding it up to your ear. Like if you can do other things when talking to people, 
It's just such a game changer. Exactly. So can't live without these. I also I want the new the ones, pro the pros, because they have um, noise canceling capabilities. Yeah. But these are great. Yeah. They'll do for now. They hold a charge, which is also one and of the best do. parts. Okay, and then the last one, ours differ quite a bit. So. <laughs> Um, mine is another technology item. It's my laptop and honestly just for so many reasons again I feel like this could almost be number one like for my work I use a laptop for like our candle business for YouTube like I'm constantly using a laptop and I just don't think I could do anything in life without it like you know I didn't think I didn't take it so literally because that's true yeah but there are things I hate about technology yeah no definitely there's things I hate but um I just feel like even, I don't know if more than my phone. Yeah, maybe more than my phone. Like, a lot of yeah. our, oh, oh, I don't do anything on this. Yeah, like, how we, <laughs> how we, like, like, online shop. Like, we also have our side photography business where we, like, edit, we need our laptop to edit photos. Like, mm -hmm. just so much rides on that laptop um, that I could never live without it. And I'm very grateful for Apple products in general because I feel like I hated laptops until I got, like, a MacBook. Yeah. We used to have those Sony ones, and Ugh. they were awful. Yeah. Um, no hate against any other like brand, but uh, thank you to Apple for making things so much easier and better and just user friendly. I think that's probably like a better answer than what I'm going to say, but I just didn't want to include too much technology. Like the AirPods, like truly could not live without. Yeah. But my phone and my computer obviously I couldn't live without those things, or even our camera mm -hmm. technically could not. But I had to mention blankets, which sounds so weird, but. Again, going back to this whole like comforting thing, I don't know why I love blankets so much, but like I have to sleep with a blanket on top of my comforter at night. Anytime I'm on the couch, I usually have a blanket on me, even if it's hot. I just love blankets. Like I just love like the feeling of them and like the security they give me. I don't know what where that comes from. Probably from the womb, not really sure, but I love them. I feel like a cozy blanket also goes along with my love for dogs, my love for candles, my love for TV. You guys know we love a cozy environment in mm -hmm. this household. This is our lifestyle. So we've actually been great in quarantine. Well, except for my <laughs> except for the lack of being able to go to Target and Trader Joe's. Just being able to do anything, honestly. I'm sure you guys are struggling just as much as we are. Yeah. Everyone's in the same boat. We're very we've grateful for the things we miss, that's for sure. We've been like, um, wow. looking forward to filming videos on the weekends, mm -hmm. so this is helpful for us. So thanks it for is. thanks for watching it and is. enjoying yeah. them. Well, that was a little bit of a tangent from Blankets, but you guys get it. Um, we'd actually love to hear if you can yeah, list your, your 10 things yeah. in the comments. That would be so fun. If some of yours align with ours, tell us. Yes. We'd love to hear. I'm sure if you have dogs, they're definitely on your list. I know. If you have kids, they're probably on your list as well. Yeah. yeah. It depends how literal you get with this. Yeah, exactly. I don't exactly. give any parameters to this video, but um, I kind of like that because then it's kind of how you interpret it. Yeah, like she didn't really put any technology in her list. She didn't even put her cat. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to put our dog. We had to. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We know it was a little rambly. Hope you liked it. <laughs> we haven't talked to people in weeks, so. <laughs>